Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Glossy Philosophy. My name is Jansen Benman and today you are tuned in for a nod back to the 1990s and a preppy style makeup look. So stay tuned. I've already washed my face and done my skincare so now it's time to prep our face and get it ready for makeup application. We're going to start with the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Just a little bit on your ring finger. Split it with your other ring finger to make sure that you're not getting too much of that product onto that eyelid and taking it all the way up to the brow. Because we're doing kind of a fresh look, we want to make sure that the skin is really clean. and like what does that mean? It just means that like no discoloration is peeking through, no redness, no pink or purples, anything like that. We want to look youthful, but not like a mannequin. So now we're going to go in with a corrector from Bobbi Brown and Bisque. Again, using my ring finger, so I'm just kind of swiping around just a little bit and then tapping that underneath the eye making sure we get rid of any of that blue and purple that is peeking through. The older you get, the thinner the skin underneath your eyes gets, so it's really important to cancel that out when you're doing your makeup because otherwise you're going to end up either purchasing a really heavy, thick concealer, which isn't going to sit on the skin as nicely as a medium to sheer, but just by adding a thin layer of corrector can help you with your actual concealer choice be a little bit more appropriate with where your skin is at. We're not going really crazy with the eyes today. We are using Yes to Sequins Brulee Kid and Wedge. So nothing that is going to cause any major dropout. So I feel very comfortable going in with the skin or the complexion products now. So now we'll switch to concealer. And just working on brightening up this area. It's kind of an upside down triangle. And I'm going to go in with my Duo Fiber Brush first. Just blend out those edges. And then I'm going to use my finger. To kind of pat that in a little bit more. Wherever you put your product is where the makeup stays mostly. So you want to hit that where you have the most discoloration. So if you have major discoloration here and here, put your product here and put your product here and then blend in down and around. Alright, now we're going to go in with our Luminous Silk Foundation. And instead of using the Duo Fiber, I'm going to go back to my really fluffy brush and I am going to dot. I have been playing around with just taking this product from my hand and using it with the brush directly to the skin and I always use more product than I want. I've also been finding that it seems to really sit on the skin a little bit differently in an unpleasant way. <laughs> so I really think that dotting the face is the best way to go no matter what kind of application tool you are using. If you're using a brush, if you're using a sponge, no matter what kind of density of brush you're using as well. It also just gives you a little bit more control about where the product is going and where your coverage is going. Your forehead doesn't usually need that much but if you pick up quite a bit of product on your brush and then go in on your forehead, then it's going to have quite a bit of product on there, which doesn't make any sense. Foundation is supposed to make everything nice and even. So if you already look pretty even up there, you don't really need that much. Okay, and then I will take a little bit on my brush from my hand and bring it down my neck just for continuity but there's not very much on there 
Okay, now the last thing we need to do to kind of prep the face or get it ready for more coloration is going in with the Rack and Cole Bedroom Black from Charlotte Tilbury. Just little dashes along that waterline. Okay, it makes a huge difference with just amping up that lash line. And now we're gonna go in with filling in our brows. So however you do that, this is where I would do it, just so that you have more of a complete face done. Going into sandstone and bren, and just filling in the gaps wherever I have some bare patches. Working from the outer half in, and then I'm going to dip into sandstone, which is the lighter of the two colors, and fill in the front part of my brow. Again, this is another part where as you age, your brow hair disappears. So it's really important to fill in your brows for a more youthful look. Dipping into sandstone and filling in that front part. Okay, just nice and easy, easy breezy. Now we are ready for adding in a little bit of color. I'm not doing a super poppy lip, but I am actually gonna go in with that first. So I'm doing Kitten Mischief by Lisa Eldridge with a little bit of charm. I'm wearing navy blue and I have kind of this preppy stripe going on, so I think a little pop of bubblegum pink is perfect. Kitten Mischief is almost my lip color, but a little bit more on the peach side. And then we're kind of counteracting that with this bubblegum pink charm. I also think it's a really great summer color. And because we are in May, I think kind of starting to add in those summery colors, those bubblegum pinks, those tangerines is a really fun way, especially in your gloss, to kind of play with the same lipstick but give you different looks. So if you've noticed, the eyeshadow products that we're using kind of have a little bit of a pinky tint to that, and that was intentional because of charm. I wanted those two things to play really well together. So now I'm going to take my 201 from BK Beauty and dip into Kid and Wedge. And just start to define the bone structure of my eye. We want this look to be pretty clean. I know that the 90s are back in fashion and makeup. And I also know that they're kind of waging war with the 70s. <laughs> it's such an interesting time with so many designers and options out there, sometimes it's easy to get a little lost with what is happening in the world of fashion and makeup. But I'm definitely taking some 90s inspiration and I've been looking at old J. Crew catalog pictures and I've been so inspired by the preppiness and just the fun mixing of colors and patterns. I really hope that they kind of step out again and become a major brand because they had something really magical in the 90s but I was too young I was like I was you know really little so I wasn't able to wear that stuff but now it seems very relevant and right up my alley and it seems like a lot of other people's alleys too so I'm just taking my Sonia Kashuk brush and going in with the same two colors and just kind of softening edges and also bringing a little bit more onto the lid. This brush is so fluffy. You can absolutely get like kind of a nice point with this brush, but it's definitely more on the fluffy side. It's almost like the 201, but slightly more tapered. So now I'm going to go in with Brulee and I'm going to use 203 from BK Beauty. 
I'm really going to pack up my brush and I'm going to give myself a little bit more of a lighter lid. So just going right on top. I'm not going to take it all the way to the crease or all the way to the outer third, mostly just halfway. It just adds a little bit of lightness, of brightness to that lid because I'm now going to go in with my finger with Yes to Sequins on my ring finger and just lightly dot that right on the ball of my eye. Again, this is a fun, fun way to give a nod to Preppy without being like too young for those of us who are in our 30s or 40s. Okay, now we're going to move on to eyeliner. And instead of doing a powder eyeliner, I'm going to go in with my gel liner. That feels very 90s appropriate. You can absolutely skip this step because Preppy is all about being fresh and young and just like easy breezy out the door, but I feel like I just love a liner. So that's what we're doing. A liner makes sense with my eye shape. And I think it also draws a really nice attention to the lash line. If you wear glasses, a liner is a must. It will really help anchor those glasses. Especially if you have colorful or bigger rims. And just doing little dashes right along that lash line, making it kind of soft. This is chocolate shimmer, so it's not going to be as stark as a black from like Stila. Going in the same way, so I'm tilting my brush, following that lower lash line to get a little kitten wing, and then flipping it and creating the rest of my liner. This look is really great for any daytime activity or if you have to get up really early and do your work. So if you're like a teacher or a nurse or something like that, it pops the eyes, you have fresh skin, you look very healthy and glowy, which we will absolutely be adding in highlighter right now. But you don't look over the top. You don't, it's not confusing as to why you've becomes so glamorous and it's like six in the morning. Sometimes that can be a little like jarring. All right, I'm going back into my duo fiber and we are gonna add in that highlighter. And then we'll go back into our mascara. This allows the highlighter to sit and just kind of blend into the skin a little bit more as we complete our eyes. I spoke about this a few months ago that sometimes makeup is kind of like baking. Not baking the way that it was in the like mid 2000s, but some products just need to sit on the skin a little bit longer. So, or they need to go on first. So you need to just kind of create your own recipe for doing your makeup so that it makes sense. If you're working with a lot of liquids, sometimes it's nice to let them sit on the skin for a little bit or creams and then go in with your powders. So it's the same thing with like cream eyeshadows or liquid eyeshadows. You want to get those on the skin quickly, do something else, and then go back in with your other products. So it's the same thing with the highlighter. At least Eldridge says that it's really nice to let it sit for a few minutes. So get it on the skin and then start working on your eyes and then do other products. And just going in with a second coat of mascara because I do want that those lashes to be really nice and full. 
a sign of youth and beauty is a full lash line. So just kind of creating that with the smoky eye mascara. All right, now we're taking a step back. Everything looks really nice and balanced. Now we need to powder and add finishing touches. So let's go in with our blush and powder brush. Just kind of get in and get out with the pale yellow powder. My forehead always gets pretty shiny starting in May. So adding a little bit more powder there is a good idea. I'm going to do my blush first, Sweet Enough from MAC. This has been kind of my favorite in tutorials lately. Sweeping on like the meaty part of the cheek and then kind of sweeping away. With blush you just have to just like get in there. You can always rotate your brush or as I've spoken about before you can go back in with your foundation brush and just kind of bounce whatever application tool that you have over the blush and then it becomes a little bit more integrated into the actual look. Now we're going to go in with our bronzer from Natasha Denona. On our BK Beauty bronzer brush and just adding in a little bit of color. As we get closer and closer to summer, I think it's fun to kind of beef up your bronzer, especially if you are fair like me and you don't want to be out in the sun getting that color. You want that color, that sun kiss glow from the bronzer and not from being unprotected in the sun. All right, I am going to add just a little bit more on my forehead because that's where the sun would actually hit. And I have quite a bit of space up there, so I can really kind of go for it if I want to. Maybe just a little on the nose and a little on the chin. And that is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching this really fun nod to preppy, fresh, makeup. It's also a really great kind of 90s look for the end of spring, early summer, and it goes with so many things from navies to whites to bright blues to pinks, anything like that. Change up your gloss depending on the coloration of what you're wearing and you're good to go. I do fashion videos every Wednesday, beauty videos every Friday, Mondays we're tackling very specific things, shopping tips, special occasions, things like that. So hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!